Okay, here's a tutorial on making icons in Corel Draw X3. So, our objective is to make these icons here. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna start to do one icon first. So, I'm gonna do this one. So, I'll just move it here. And let's analyze the, the graphics here. Okay, so there's a drop shadow. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove the drop shadow. Okay, I'm gonna remove the drop shadow. First, we go to ungroup first. We break drop shadow apart. Okay, so we we'll delete that. Okay, so, and then this one, we're just going to ungroup and put this over to the side here. Okay, so first, we're going to do this. Uh, this uh, button here. So I'm gonna delete this first. So what we're gonna do is we're going to create a circle. In order to create a perfect circle, what you're gonna do while you're making, if you go to your ellipse tool and click and drag. So but before that, hold on your control button button to make a perfect circle. Okay. Now. So I'm going to make it green. Now I'm going to remove the outline too. Okay. So I'm going to duplicate this one uh, with the use of the, uh, the plus sign your keyboard. So click. So now it's duplicated. I got two, two circles now. Now the other circle, which, which is the, the one on top, uh, make it black like that okay so behind this one is the green uh, circle so what i'm going to do i'm going to make a transparency there got transparency and in here instead of linear i'll go radial there so when you go radial you can adjust it by say if i want it to go like that or if i want to let's say i'll move it over here and then here, the slider, you can always change the slider. You can adjust the, the gradient. Okay. So if I'm happy with that, that's fine. I'll just keep it that way. And then now I'm going to duplicate one more. Okay. I'm going to move this over here. Sorry, I'm going to go, go the uh, duplicate it. So the plus sign your keyboard so I've got two now I'll move it over here okay so I'm going to remove the the uh, the transparency and what I'm going to do here I'm going to shrink it down a little bit and I'll move it over here and then I'll make it white okay now I'm going to do the reflection. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a straight line from here to there. Okay. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to my shape tool. And I'm going to click on this segment here. And I'm going to make it to curve. And then these arrows here, I'm going to make it like that. I'll just move it over here. Okay. Because what I'm going to do here is I'm going to simplify these objects okay so first click on the circle which is the white circle the smaller circle and then hold on shift and click on this thing here the segment I mean the line the curved line okay now in here you click on simplify okay so once you simplify you're going you can delete this now click on this line and then delete and in here click on the white circle and go to arrange and click on break curve apart so as you notice here you can delete this now okay. so delete that and we'll work on this one so you click on this half circle and you go to your transparency tool last one and then you click and drag can even drag this one down there. 
Okay. Now the only the only thing I have to do now is to get this object here that I created and put it over here and put it to front. So arrange order to front of page. Here. Since I have this icon already, I can use this to the other icons. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate it. So function of yeah, the plus sign in your keyboard. I'm going to move it over here. And I'm going to delete this object here. Delete. Delete this one. Let's go back here. Then I can always click on the uh, the object. See, you notice here, these are the properties. If I click on this one, the reflection, it says white, right? I don't want the white. If you can't select the very first circle that we made, the green one, you hold on Alter, okay, click on Alter, hold, hold it on our Alter, and you click click until you get the the green which is this one here okay so i got the green then i can color the green say on it that way or this way so you can actually uh, choose that okay now i'm gonna move this over here this is the line i'm gonna ungroup it first break drop shadow part first with the drop shadow and I'm going to get this one go to the group all and move it over here and move it to front order to front stage and I can adjust it a little bit okay so basically that's how you do it always duplicate this okay so plus sign your keyboard and then grab this node here and move it down yeah. you make it smaller a little bit because technically speaking the shadow I mean the reflection is smaller then you can go to bitmap and convert to bitmap it doesn't need to be 300 dpi so i would go 100 dpi because it's only the reflection this is important you have to make it transparent background and then click ok okay now I'll go to my transparency interactive transparency tool and then i'll just click and drag there the reflection to be faded that looks good to me so we'll do it with this other one so plus sign in your keyboard bring this node down you make it smaller a little bit and go to bitmap convert to bitmap one less dpi is fine because it's only a reflection and transparent background should be checked and click ok and then we do it again, go to interactive drop shadow and click and drag going down. And you can adjust this more. And there you go. And then you can always put a background like this. Okay. See if you make it black. Move this to back so you go to arrange order to back of page, and you can see a nice icon with the, with the reflection. Very nice.